What's up everybody, Josh here, Momentum Productions. Today I'm gonna to show you how to attach your follow focus motor on your Weeble S gimbal. Now this is a video I haven't done before on the Weeble S and I haven't seen any tutorials of it on YouTube. So that's what we're gonna be covering today in this video. I'm actually gonna be featuring the new Surui 50 millimeter anamorphic lens in today's video, but this is not a review. I'm just showing you how to use the follow focus system on the Weeble S with this lens. And yes, I'm gonna be using this lens on my gimbal and I'll show you how in that review video. So make sure you're subscribed with those notifications turned on. Now I've been getting a lot of questions on Instagram, people saying that there's actually multiple different types of follow focus servos for your Weeble S. The answer is yes, that is true. There is the max version and the light version. I do recommend that you get the max version because that motor has more torque. So if you decide to mount your follow focus motor on your zoom ring, that max version can actually handle a lot of torque, even if you have stiff zoom rings on your lenses. So definitely opt out for the max version, and I'll leave a link down below on where you can get that. Now in the follow focus motor kit, you are going to get an aluminum rail, a support bracket, and a USB-C cable. First off, what we're gonna do, we are going to mount the bracket onto the quick release plate off of the Weeble S gimbal. Notice where it mounts. It mounts directly in the front on the bottom of the plate. Now, believe it or not, this is going to be a trial and error process. You can see the plate has two different ports on where we can mount the fall focus, either on the left or the right side. Depending on the lens, we're not gonna really know which side the fall focus motor is supposed to be on, so you need to make sure that you have your lens and camera set up and just mess around to see where it feels awkward or where you think the fall focus motor is gonna fit right in because it's gonna be different on the lens and camera combination. Once you have the support bracket set up, go ahead and insert the aluminum rail and tighten that up. Then insert the follow focus motor. This is when we can test out which side the follow focus motor would be best on. Next, we're gonna attach the follow focus gear ring, which is made out of rubber, directly around your focus ring. Don't be afraid to tighten up this ring. It has to be tight because don't forget, this ring is very, very stiff on these types of lenses, so make sure that it's good and tight. Next, you wanna make sure that the ring is equidistant on all of the edges all around the ring, otherwise the gear will end up slipping. Once you've done that, align the sprocket from the motor onto the teeth of the gear. Use your hands to see if the gear is slipping or if it's grabbing on properly. Once you've done that, then you have to completely balance up your rig. Now that your rig is balanced, you can turn on your gimbal and you can immediately see that the fall focus is working with the control dial on the side of the gimbal. Now there are a few settings that I strongly recommend that you make sure that you have turned on when you're using a follow focus motor. For example, let's go into the Weeble S menu. Once you're in the menu, scroll down to wheel and then AB points. AB points prevent you from over torquing the ring on your lens and on the follow focus gear. So basically you're setting up a start point and an end point. So what you need to do, you need to go to the minimum focus distance, set your A point, then go to the farthest focus distance on your ring, and then set the B point. Then exit out out of that menu, and then go to sensitivity. I strongly recommend that for most people, you probably need the lowest sensitivity for your follow focus, because follow focusing is actually very subtle most of the time, so keep it on low. If you need something a little bit faster, then go to medium, but the high setting may be too fast for most people, so the low and medium range is pretty good. So I hope you guys found this video helpful. If so, please give it a like and subscribe with those notifications turned on, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace. I can't reach the lens. Ah.